This is a very interesting activity called movie application. Here you are going to discuss about the movie in the aspect of technology, the science used in the movie. Now we will start with the team Vinaya and Balaji. Hey everybody, so one thing that is very 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 important in our life is movies. All of us love movies and every single day we watch at least one movie, mostly. So let's say movie is just not about the movie, there is science behind the movie. And one such movie with a lot of science is Interstellar. So today me and my teammate Balaji are going to be give short review on, on Interstellar. We have movie review but then whatever. So uh, speaking about Interstellar, uh, first of all it's lots of physics right? It's full of physics and among millions of people who didn't understand Interstellar, I am the biggest one in them. So, yeah. So it's natural. Okay so I am just going to run you through the movie first. What happens is, is a 21st century and there's no food supply left for all of us on Earth. So what happens is a group of astronauts are sent into space to find a new galaxy with a lot of planets so that the humanity can go. So black hole is nothing but as the name says it's a hole. It's a huge huge hole. I don't know who made it so big. So uh, basically black holes are dying stars actually. What happens is after some time when a star dies, dies in the sense not dying actually. It loses all gravitational pull and engulfs its own self. So by the time there happens to be a continuum. Sorry, I'm talking like Christopher Nolan, so bear up with me. Okay, now time dilation. LLM is a very, very, very important thing to all of us. And we went through time stones like this. Yeah, it's infinity war, Avengers. Let's say that, say as none of us really knew that there were two different times. So basically, according to the theory of relativity, Time dilation is the difference of elapsed time seen by two different observers when they will change in velocity or when they are situated in different gra- under field of gravity. So now to make this easier for you all, I am going to give an example. Now let's say a rocket travelling in space has a clock and uh, Vigneta sitting here has a clock in her hand. Yeah, she has a watch, right? So let's say Samikta in the rocket has a watch in her. What happens is at one particular time, the time the Vigneta sees in her watch here and the time Samikta sees in her watch, the space will not be the same. To end up with the session, I'm going to tell you all, watch a lot of movies. Movies are good, there is physics, there is so many things that you learn from movies. So maybe let's not take movie just as an entertainment. Let's move a step ahead and learn from movies. Thank you. So guys, now I'm going to give a movie review about the movie Black Hat starring Chris Hemsworth or, or aka The Thaw. Okay, the movie is about hacking. By the name you can understand that. And we are going to see about the facts and fictions and the technology used in this movie. We all are very fantasized by the topic of hacking, right? So let's start with that. Hacking is obviously accessing some accessing files, folders or computers without others knowledge or in a different way. So the first fact in the movie. Dream high. Max is multiplication. 3 times 5? 15. 6 times 9? 54. You blotted them out without a reason. Multiplication has become instinct. Approach Max has a whole instinctively. 20% of the question in the math section of college entrance exam is based on application and comprehension. You can solve the rest by just knowing the basic formulas that can be memorized. That only memorize basic formulas. Memorize them over and over again. Memorize them like you do with your multiplication tables. Get to a point where the formula just pop out of your head without you even knowing it. If you know this, 80% of the math is done. Isn't that cool? Memorize repeatedly, solve the problems repeatedly. Thank you.